Hello guys, welcome to Amazing Engineering and this is the first video tutorial of Open Phone. Today we will see how to set lead driven cavity case. Lead driven cavity is a square domain whose segments are 1 meter length and the flow velocity along x direction called u is 1 meter per second on the upper segment and 0 on the other ones. As first we have to create a work directory I called it lead driven cavity and inside this directory we can find all the files and directories we need for the simulation. So now let's create the domain and the mesh using Salon. Let's go to geometry field and in file properties we set meter as length units, the same unit used by open foam. So let's create a box, we can call it the driven cavity. We set 1 meter on x direction, 1 meter on y direction and 0.1 meter on z direction. This is our domain. Now we have to create some geometrical graphs for simulation and mesh. So let's go to create graph. And let's start with three scraps. The first one is moving wall. And we, and, uh, we select the upper face. The second one in, is walls. And we select the lateral faces. Then from back and we select the front face and the back face. So we will use these three graphs to set boundary conditions and physical, physical properties for the simulation. Now let's create the graph we will use for the mesh. The first one is source face and we select the back face <coughs> then destination face and we select the front face so we will extrude our mesh from source face to destination face and then two segment graphs the first one is one element ages and we select these four segments and at the end walls ages and we select the four, the four segments on back face. Apply and close. Now let's go to mesh field and click on create mesh. Select the domain and uh, we can call mesh lead driven cavity mesh. And it is an extrusion 3D. Now we have to create the sub meshes. The first one is referred to source face. We can call it source. We choose quadrangle mapping and as hypothesis in quadrangle parameters, we can choose standard, par standard parameters. Click on apply. For the second sub mesh, select, des select destination face. We call it destination. <coughs> and this is a projection 2D. Now select one element ages. Let's call it one element. We choose wire discretization and as hypothesis number of segments. We call it number of segments one element. 
and we set one segment. The last one is referred to world ages. We call it walls. We set where discretization and in hypothesis we set number of segments. We call it number of segments walls and we set 15 parameters, 15 segments. Apply and close. So now we made four submeshes, two on the face and two on compound. So let's compute the mesh. And as you can see, our mesh has 225 volumes and an equal distribution of the node. If we want to have more nodes near the walls and less nodes in the central part, we have to modify the number of segment hypothesis for walls. So click on Edit Hypothesis. We can increase the number of segments, for example, to 50 segments. And in type of distribution, we choose a distribution with table density. So now we have to create a function in order to have more nodes near the walls and less nodes in the central part. So insert row, we choose 0 0.8, 0 0.4, then 0 0.5, 0 0.2, and at the end 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Click on OK, clear the previous mesh data, and let's compute the mesh. Now our mesh is composed by 2500 volumes, and it will give us a better, a better solution. And as I said before, we have more nodes near the walls and less nodes in the central part. Now we have to integrate the first three graphs inside the mesh. So click on create graphs from geometry and select moving wall, walls and from back. Apply and close. Now we can export our mesh as a UMB file. Click on export UMB file. We can call it lead driven cavity mesh and let's save it in work directory. As you can see, I didn't use any backspace in the name of the file. You have, you have, to, do, you have to do this every time you are saving an open form file or directory. So let's save and we can close along. Now in the work directory, we have, to we have to create a poly mesh directory inside constant directory. For this purpose, we have to use bash on Ubuntu application. As first, we have to reach the lead driven cavity directory. So we use the command change directory mnt c users admin desktop lead driven cavity. Now we are inside the work directory. We can test it with the, the command ls and as you can see we have the same directories and the mesh file. Now you have to use the command ideas umv to form and select the mesh file. Now inside constant directory there is the polymesh directory. Inside this directory, the main file is a boundary, boundary file, where we have to set the boundary condition for geometrical graphs. We choose a type of boundary condition for moving wall, a wall type for walls, and the type for from back. It means that uh, OpenFoam will not resolve the equation along the third direction. 
and it is and uh, this is correct for our simulation because uh, we are uh, we are analyzing a two dimensional simulation now let's go to zero factory where we can find the physical the physical properties and in u velocity in uh, u velocity file we set a fixed value boundary condition for moving wall and uh, as i said before we set one meter per second along x direction no slip type boundary condition for walls it means that velocity is zero on the walls and empty for, for from back in pressure file we set zero granular boundary condition both, both for moving wall and walls that's because if we consider a boundary layer on a surface while velocity inside boundary layer has a gradient along y direction like this pressure has no gradient so we have to set zero gradient boundary condition for the pressure now before starting simulation let's go to system directory and in control dict file we can set the parameters for the simulation so we use simple foam as, solve, as a solver which is used for, for both laminar and turbulent flows we can put for we can set both start time and latest time our start our start time will be zero time we choose one uh, we, we choose 1000 second for end time a delta t of 0 0.1 second and a right interval of 100 100 second put right represent the number of directory where the solution will be written during the uh, will be written during the simulation in order to watch the, to watch the simulation in paraview we have to have at least one put right directory so now let's go to version ubuntu application and let's write simple foam command it will take a while and as you can see solution converged in around 24 iterations and there is only one put right directory now if we want to watch the simulation on paraview let's write the command parafoam in order to open paraview then click on apply choose the physical property you want to watch for example velocity and play the simulation so velocity has the max the maximum value on the moving wall and zero <coughs> and zero on the other on the other walls you can also choose the color of the mapping in color map for example blue to red rainbow moreover you can also watch the streamline on the flow using stream trace stream tracer so we have to we have to choose the direction the direction of the arrow for example along y along y axis and with the resolution we can set the number of stream lines stream lines we want to watch for example 100 stream lines click on apply and these are the streamlines of literal entity. At the end, if you have some problems with the Parafoam command, you can install Paraview in your PC and create an, op an open foam file for the simulation. For this purpose, use the command touch, choose the name of the file, for example, literal cavity, point foam. 
As you can see, we made an open form file which can be opened with Paraview. Ok guys, this is all for today. I invite you to subscribe on my channel and see you for the next video.